Hello! Hello everyone! It is I, the Fallen835. It's, it's me, Robert. I'm back. Yes, I'm back in black. That's a good... It's a good song. Go and listen to it. Yes, here to do another review. Finally! Finally! You're probably all wondering why? Why haven't you done a review in ages? I tell you why. Batteries cost five pounds now. A pack of four batteries costs five pounds. It's, it's absolutely filthy. It's ridiculous. Anyway, today I'm reviewing this. This figure. This is brilliant. This is, this is wonderful. This is Armada Skywalk, which is uh, one of my very last A purchases, believe it or not. And uh, literally, I've just opened it this second, and it is glorious. It's a glorious figure. You should all go and buy one, go and buy the repaints. I could just end the review now and you wouldn't have a clue. No, I won't. Um, bio first. He has no bio. bio. Bio, basically. He didn't appear in Armada at all. He was... Uh, no, he didn't appear in it at all. You could, I suppose, if you really want, you can look at his like bio on Wiki and the fiction he has in the Dreamwave comics, but to be honest, he didn't really do anything apart from that. So that's the shortest ever bio you're probably going to see from me. Which is good, onto this toy. Now here he is in his Cybertronian-ish jet mode. It's not really Cybertronian because he acquired this, well, Starscream acquired this mode when he came to Earth. So, but I, I suppose it's a good looking mode, you could call it a Cybertronian mode if you want. I like it, it's very nice, it's got some rockets here and then rockets on the back which are also jets. Um, there is considerable different moulding between this and the original one, the Starscream and the Thundercracker, i.e. that bit there, which will become his head crest, there, see that bit? And I believe these thrusters here, as well as the paint job, obviously, <laughs> um, anything else to say in this? Oh yes, his Minicon, which is called Thunderclash, I believe, probably said that name wrong, can um, activate a gimmick. I don't know if he can in this mode, oh, there we are, look, his wings fold up. There we are, and you can plug him onto here, plug him onto that little bit there, plug him, and... Way! There we are! He's got huge frickin' rockets that fire out the front. Yeah. Yeah, I I'll do that again, because you probably didn't see it that well. Stay in. Okay. I'll try and not get my hand in this way now. Ready, steady, go! Ah. Oh. Well, you get the idea, don't you? So, he can do that. That's his, uh gimmick, if he has any. Very nice gimmick. Okay, on to transformation. Come around here, the bottom. These are his legs. Well, these will be his legs. You basically have to fold them, like so. Unclip them from each side. Like so. Come around, do the same. Move the other one, which can be tough. Aren't you doing it? There we are. So... Basically, they were like that. You come round, you come round. This is the first time I've been trying to transform it. It's swivel, come round. There's his legs, nearly done, as you can see. Come to the bottom here, you open out the heel, which you need nails for, and I, at the moment, do not have nails. Like so, like so. Now he has feet, he has some uh, nice feet. Nice feet there. Huh. Nice feet. You have to then come up and place this like... So, basically, this bit here connects into that tab up there. So you have to adjust the legs like so. So adjust them all the way back. So it's like that. And then... Clip it in like so. And as you do that, his head reveal. There's his head reveal. Look. La la. Yes, nice head reveal. You can then flip this down. Oh, and you get sounds. You, you get nice sounds, which uh, I wasn't expecting, but hey-ho. And there we are. You nearly have him in his robot mode now. All you've got to do is flick around the wings somehow. How do you do this? Actually, let's just do his hands first. But that's basically his hands there. All you've got to really do from now on unclip them, bend them out, like so, like so, and then flip his little hands out, which again, 
are going to be annoying to get out, but hey ho, you have to persuade. And there's his arms! Look, he has little arms to uh, say hi to. Ugh. There, see? He has, he has hands now. He has hands. Now the wings. What do we do with the wings? Oh yes, the wings, they have to be put not like this. You can leave them like that, I suppose. It looks kind of nice, like that. It gives him a more uh, seekerish look, I suppose. Maybe a bit of more G1 look. Although you can turn it like so, which is the proper way of doing it. Although, meh, I don't really mind, like so. Which, it looks, I suppose it looks better. It's up to you, what you really prefer. And there he is, in his robot mode. It's a very nice robot mode. Very nice. Yes. It has a nice head sculpt, which is a new head sculpt. It's not a repaint of the original moulds. It's got a very weird animalistic look to it, I suppose, if you can call it, with the huge head crest. It's very nice. Actually, it's, it's a very nice mould. Having, like, transformed it for the first time live on camera. Thank you very much for witnessing. It's a really nice mould. Very nice. Now, articulation. His, uh, his arms. Let's do the arms first. They can move like that, bend at the elbow, and I suppose that's it really. Uh, if you count the transformation for the actual hands as articulation, sure. Can they? No, they can't even swivel. Well, there we are. The head doesn't really do anything. It can go like that, which, yeah, I, I suppose you can have that as a thing. Sure, why not? Why not? Okay, why not? His legs can go back, let's just move these arms, you can go back, forward, and that's pretty much it. They can bend, like so, and then you've got a little bit of back hill spell like that, but nothing more, really. The only other gimmick he has in this mode is that this side of his wing can come off. Now, I'm going to try and do this without breaking it. That'd be funny, seeing my toy being broken live on camera, and me going, no! Uh oh, I don't actually know how to do it now. Wow. Well, it does come off somehow. I'll probably find out later on how to do it. Basically, you can pull this off and you can hold it as a sword in his hands. Personally, it's pretty much crap sword because it doesn't really look like anything, but hey-ho. You could do that, I suppose. Again, the gimmick still works. You put, plug the mini in the back. And now this time, I promise, I will try and not get my hands in the way. Oh! Oh, and of course, he has sounds. Yeah, when you hit the cockpit. It does become annoying after a while. Very annoying. And then, the gimmick! Bang! Look at that! He has some huge frickin' missiles on the front of him. Ready to kill anyone. These do have missiles in them, but again, I can't be bothered to put them in because I'll probably lose them, and then you'll be sad because you've lost a part of your transformer. So you might as well keep them in the bag and never use them ever again. Uh, personally, I prefer him to play in this mode. I mean, his jet mode is brilliant, but this is cool mode. You have to go and buy one of these now. Or if you ever go to AA, go and buy one of these at AA. Maybe not Skywalk, maybe get Starscream or Thundercracker. Although once you get one, you want to get the others, because I want to get the others now. He's a very, very nice toy. Really nice. Um, last thing, there he is. Last thing, his Minicon, which is a plane looking thing with missiles that seem to be weirdly like so. There, mm -hmm. Transformation is quite easy. Flip the legs out like so. You then push these back. Flip this round like so. A bit like a uh, star script. A bit like the uh, Thundercrackers transformation, really. Flip that down like so. And basically. There is your Minicon, I suppose. There is the, uh, there's the Minicon.
which, hey ho, make what you want of a minicon. Some are cool. This one is probably quite a good one. His robot mode is quite cool. He's got a little visor there for his head. But yeah, make what you want of minicons. I like them because they have gimmicks, but some people hate them. I'll leave it up to you. And with that being said, I will commence this review to an end. So thank you for watching. This has been the review of Armada Skywarp and his Minicon, who is Thunder Clash. There we are. It's a weird name. Very weird name. Buy this figure if you ever come to AA. Next year, I will try to get Starscream and Skywarp. No, Thundercracker. So I can have all three Seekers. You should have own one of these. You should own one of this mould. I don't care what one, just own it, okay? Thank you for watching. I have been a bit mad, maybe, in this review. I'm sorry. This is the first time I've done a review in this considerably long time. Considerably. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. Goodbye. Salabu. Just bye.